Hey guys, Brian Nichols here. Um, so this is for Kinesiology 303, Foundations of Kinesiology. And this week's assignment was supposed to um, interview a professional currently working in the ch uh, field of choice. Um, in my in case, uh, I plan on opening a gym uh, once I graduate from CDU, so my given choice would be a uh, gym owner um, or CrossFit affiliate owner. Um, so I went ahead and interviewed Matt Banworth um, from Red Wolf CrossFit uh, in Huntington Beach. Um, I went to Red Wolf for about six months, um, but unfortunately I had to uh, had to stop going because of some financial difficulties that I've been going through at the time, um, and I could not afford the uh, the affiliate fee every month. So I uh, I decided to stop going, um, but I still continue to do CrossFit stuff um, on a regular basis. Um, and I, I'd already had a relationship with Matt Vanwerp at Red Wolf, so um, I emailed him one day and said, hey, can I ask you a couple questions? Um, and he said, sure. So uh, we went ahead and then did a uh, phone interview because I couldn't uh, stop by his affiliate because just uh, time schedule conflicts and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoy this. All right, buddy, go ahead. Okay, so um, my first question is, how long have you been a CrossFit affiliate owner? Four years. Four years. And how did you get into like the whole industry, I guess? Um, not just CrossFit, but like working out in general. Uh, I got into working out about, I think, uh, about 18, so about 10 years ago. Okay. About 10 years ago, yeah. And you just like, wanted to, you know, start lifting weights, or you had a specific sport you were training for? How'd that happen? Yeah, I, I played baseball and I wanted to get better, so I started lifting. Oh, cool. Um, do you play any other sports? No, that was it. Oh, okay, cool. Do you still play baseball? <laughs> no, I don't. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so what is the best part, I guess, about owning an affiliate? Uh, the best part is the flexibility of having your own schedule. Um, that's definitely the best part, and you can uh, you can always change things around based on uh, you know just you can make changes. It, it's more of like a control thing. Like yeah. even though it's a lot of work, it, it's nice knowing that you're in control of what uh, of what the business is doing, and you're the one who gets to make the, the decisions and. Uh, um, and you get to uh, you get to build something from the ground up, which is fun. That's cool. Um, yeah. Okay. So on the opposite side, what's the worst part about owning an affiliate? The worst part. That's, that's a tough question. There really is no worst part. It's just uh, I would say I would say the hardest part is just time because you put in a lot of hours. More yeah. And I can find a job for sure. Yeah. Um, it's not it's not difficult work. It's just. Uh, it's just a lot of work, so a yeah. lot of time. So the worst part, I guess, is not being able to have enough time or enough time to do anything outside the gym. But mm -hmm. honestly, like I love being at the gym so much that I really would trade it for anything. <laughs> That's cool. And then uh, tell yeah. tell me a little bit about being a coach. Like, what's the best part about being a coach? Uh, the best part about being a coach is that you get to uh, work with people who are committed. Especially when you're coaching something like CrossFit, you coach people who are serious about fitness. And you're just not you're just not a, a trainer, you're a coach, which is cool because you get to give them direction, you get a, they're usually there for the long term anyways and they wanna make long term progression. Yeah. And that's always fun to see someone progress throughout time rather than and volume of the process of it, of coaching people rather than trying to uh, you know, rather than trying to, you know, uh, Call it uh, trying to just get them quick results and as fast as they're going to be done with you, you know. Um, yeah. I, I, I was in, when I did personal training and I did regular fitness stuff, people just weren't really committed. They wanted to get like fixed quick stuff. Yeah. They didn't really care about long term health or anything. So they just thought if I just work out a little bit right now for like X amount of months, then I can not work out and then come back. So we're here, people are consistent, people are committed, they enjoy it. So. That's kind of no, that's that's great. So th there probably isn't a worse part about being a coach, then I would assume, right? No, not really. I, I guess I mean there's 
hard part, I guess. And yeah. the, I guess the hard part is keeping up with all the current research. Yeah. And keeping up with and being able to work with different styles of people. But I've done it for so long now, it's not as hard. Um, it's so difficult because I like trying to stay up to date as much as possible. Yeah. Um, with, you know, things I'm about to cost it, cost it itself. But, um, so it's, it's not so much the coaching, it's staying a good coach, you know, because your work is never really over. So I guess that's the hard part is because <laughs> you're always learning. Uh, that's, that's fair enough. Um, yeah. If you could change anything to like related to owning your affiliate, like what would you change? Uh, like what do you mean? Like if there was something that's not working, would you just change it, or do you have to like talk to Adam about it, or talk to the your your clients? I guess. Yeah, it, it depends on how uh, how urgent it is. If it's something big. Then I definitely can pull Adam because I trust his opinion and be fifty percent. I always, I always like to ask him anyway, just because I like to, you know, say what I think and then see what he thinks, and then yeah. I'll usually it helps me reassess. Yeah. Like, it either reinforces what I already thought, or he has a different opinion and then he rethinks my opinion, which is good. Yeah. But if it's something small like a day to day thing, I can just handle it. Um, Adam, Adam and I are really good about that. We talk each other out really well with that. Yeah. We, um, I think it helps that he's older too. He's older than me, so yeah. I have so much I can go do. He's a little bit smarter and a little more experienced. Yeah, he just has more yeah. in the real world than I do, so I trust his judgment. Um, so that's always nice. So if he was the same age as me, I think we would kind of, I don't know if he's butt heads, but we would probably have, he has a much better vision for a long term. Sure. And he's, uh, so he's better to think that's why I was just put with him a long term thing. Where I have day to day stuff, I'm really good at because I'm here every day. Yeah. So I can make day to day decisions very quickly. And then, um, and then if Adam wants to change it, it's a really easy change. Yeah. Well, that's cool. So you guys kind of balance each other out then. Yeah, yeah. It's been a, it's been a really great so far. Yeah, no zero complaints. Nice. And do you find it hard now that you're like an affiliate owner to like actually work out? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Um, I think the more involved I get with the business um, and the coaching, um, it gets difficult because uh, you're around fitness so much and you're you're already active in ways of going around coaching and, and programming and doing research and making sure everyone else is getting their fitness in. Um, yeah. But it makes time to do it and I schedule time out of my day to make sure I get my workout in. And uh, I make sure uh, whenever I do have a big chunk of time, I take it into this. So if I don't have time later in the season, I don't feel bad. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So this is my last question. Um, what advice would you give someone to try to open their own affiliate? Oh, uh, there's a lot of advice I can First one is definitely uh, uh, do your research on literally everything. Everything from business to coaching uh, to hiring firing make sure I, I guess this, I guess the biggest thing is to have before you even open your doors or even pay any affiliate fees or anything else uh, while you find limited to have a uh, good business system in place ready to go so that way once you start there's no question like everyone knows what to expect to them everyone knows their job everyone knows exactly how to do it what mm. to do before the doors even open I think that's really important because if you set expectations or if you change things along the way, people tend to have a harder time adapting to it. Right. So, um, huh. and if there's some things you can't foresee, some things you have to change on the fly, but I'd say consult with other affiliate owners, do your own research like a lot before you open and have a really solid business system and business plan in place before you, before you even think about it. Cool, that's awesome. All right, well, I don't have any more questions. I really appreciate you taking some time to talk to me about this, so. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm glad to help you out, but All right, man. Take care. You take care, okay? Okay, yeah, no problem. All right, have man. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I just had my interview with Matt Vanward at Red Wolf CrossFit, and uh, some of my immediate reactions, I think, are that, you know, I would definitely need to work on my business plan because I don't really have one right now, and did make a pretty big emphasis on having a business plan before you, you know, open your doors. So I definitely would have to do that. And then the other thing that he mentioned was research. 
um, which I am doing now, so, but it sounds like I need to do a lot more research, especially in the department for, uh, you know, developing a business plan and whatnot. Um, other than that, I wasn't really too surprised when he mentioned that he doesn't have a lot of free time because I can't imagine as a business owner of anything, not just owning a gym, that you have, you know, just tons amount of free time now that you, you know, you run this business because I'm sure you're probably constantly worried about the business, so you're thinking about how to ways to improve it, so that, you know, can take up some time as well as just physically being there um, to run the business as well. Um, but other than that, uh, you know, I thought my impressions of Matt are he seems really smart and capable. Um, he runs a great gym when I was there. It's an awesome facility, so if you're ever um, in Huntington Beach, you know, definitely look up Red Wolf CrossFit. Um, and uh, he mentioned his uh, other co-owner, co -owner, um, Adam Quick. Um, Adam's also a really cool guy. Um, so the two of them kind of just run the business 50-50, uh, but Matt does a lot of the programming and stuff um, for the, the regular classes and stuff. So super cool guy. Uh, I'm really excited I had the chance to interview him. So I uh, hope you enjoy this. Thanks.